I rise to give notice of my intention to raise a question of the privileges of the House. The form of the resolution is as follows. House Resolution 610, censuring Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene. Whereas Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly fanned the flames of racism, anti-Semitism, hate speech against the LGBTQ community, Islamophobia, Asian hate, xenophobia, and other forms of hatred. Whereas Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly debased the memories of thousands of victims of the terrorist attacks on September 11, 2001, by perpetuating conspiracy theories to shift blame and responsibility for mass murder. Whereas Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly assaulted the foundation of our democracy by perpetuating conspiracy theories related to the January 6 attack on the Capitol, which sought to halt the peaceful transfer of power. Whereas Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly called for violence against elected officials and their families. Whereas Marjorie Taylor Greene has repeatedly espoused anti-Semitic rhetoric and conspiracy theories, including through inflammatory evocations of the Holocaust. Whereas on May 20th, 2021, Marjorie Taylor Greene said that the mask mandate in the House of Representatives was akin to Jews being put in trains and taken to gas chambers in Nazi Germany. Whereas on May 25th, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted, quote, vaccinated employees get a vaccinate, vaccination logo just like the Nazis forced Jewish people to wear a gold star. Whereas on February 26th, 2022, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene appeared at a white nationalist event that was condemned by the Republican Jewish Coalition as, quote, appalling and outrageous that a member of Congress would share a platform with an individual who has actively spread anti-Semitic bile, mocked the Holocaust, and promoted dangerous anti-Israel conspiracy theories. Whereas on September 1st, 2022, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene posted a tweet comparing President Joe Biden to Adolf Hitler that said, quote, Joe Biden is Hitler, hashtag Nazi Joe has to go, unquote. Whereas on September 1st, 2022, Marjorie Taylor Greene posted another tweet of a doctored video showing President Biden speaking with audio of Hitler swastikas in the background and a mustache akin to that of Hitler. Whereas on July 21st, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said that if she was, quote, in charge, she would kick out every single Chinese in this country that is loyal to the CCP. They would be gone. Whereas on December 19th, 2021, while at a Turning Point USA conference, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene referred to Asian Americans as, quote, yellow people, a slur that has been historically used to malign the Asian American community in the United States. Whereas Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has a history of perpetuating LGBTQ hate speech, including through her use of offensive posters in the halls of congressional office buildings beginning on February 24th, 2021. Whereas on November 22nd, 2022, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene tweeted that an LGBTQ California state senator was, quote, a communist groomer, unquote, an offensive slur that has been used to stoke fear and incite hatred of LGBTQ Americans. Whereas on March 7th, 2023, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene again referred to members of the LGBTQ community as, quote, groomers and spouted anti-trans rhetoric on the floor of the House of Representatives, whereas on June 1st, 2023, the first day of Pride Month, Representative Margie Taylor Greene tweeted a photo showing an anti-trans poster that she had displayed in the hall outside of her congressional office, whereas on February 22nd, 2019, Representative Margie Taylor Greene posted a video on Facebook claiming that the Muslim American members of Congress were not, quote, really official because they didn't take the oath of office on the Bible. Whereas on June 17, 2020, Politico reported that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene repeatedly engaged in Islamophobic rhetoric and suggested that Muslim Americans do not belong in the United States government. Whereas on May 10, 
2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene yet again referred to fellow Muslim American members of Congress as, quote, the Jihad Squad. Whereas on June 17, 2020, Politico reported that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene referred to black Americans as, quote, slaves to the Democratic Party and said that they should be proud to see Confederate monuments. Whereas on June 17, 2020, Politico further reported that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene stated in a video, quote, I know a ton of white people that are as lazy and sorry and probably worse than black people, unquote. Whereas on May 18th, 2023, Marjorie Taylor Greene compared being called a white supremacist to a person of color being called the N-word, a vile racial slur. Whereas on January 28th, 2021, a video of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene resurfaced in which she used a harm and offensive slur targeting Americans with disabilities with the National Down Syndrome Society called, quote, heartbreaking and unacceptable. Whereas on November 1st, 2018, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene denied the attacks on September 11th, saying there was, quote, a so-called plane that crashed into the Pentagon, and, quote, it's odd that there's never been any evidence to show a plane at the Pentagon. Whereas on November 17th, 2018, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene peddled a vile anti-Semitic trope when she claimed that wildfires in California were caused by space lasers operated by members of the Jewish community, whereas on August 17th, 2020, a video of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene resurfaced in which she stated that the mass shooting at the Country Music Festival in Las Vegas, Nevada, where 60 people were murdered, was perpetuated in order to pass anti-gun legislation. Whereas on January 19th, 2021, Media Matters published a screenshot of Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene on Facebook, where she emphatically agreed that the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneham Douglas High School, where 17 American students and teachers were murdered, was a false flag event. Whereas on January 21st, 2021, Media Matters published a screenshot of on Facebook, a comment that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene posted that claimed 9-11 was, quote, done by our own government, to which she responded, that is all true. Whereas that same comment liked and agreed to by Representative Margie Taylor Greene further claimed that the mass shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary where 26 people, including 20 precious, precious children were murdered was staged. Whereas on September 3rd, 2020, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene posted an image of herself holding a gun next to images of three members of Congress with a caption encouraging, quote, going on offense after them. Whereas on January 26, 2021, CNN reported on posts, comments, and likes by Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene from 2018 and 2019, in which Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene liked several posts and comments on Facebook demonstrating her support for the execution of several members of the Democratic Party, including the Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, Secretary of State, Hillary Clinton, and President Barack Obama. Whereas on January 26, 2021, CNN further reported that Marjorie Taylor Greene liked a Facebook comment on January 2019 that stated, quote, a bullet to the head would be quicker in reference to the removal of Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Whereas on January 26, 2021, CNN also reported that deleted videos showed Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene calling for the execution of Speaker Nancy Pelosi and stating that she was, quote, a traitor to our country, that she's guilty of treason and should suffer death or she'll be in prison. Whereas Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene has perpetuated the big lie related to the 2020 presidential election by espousing conspiracy theories and by threatening and inciting violence. Whereas on October 26, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene downplayed the actions of those who participated in the January 6 attack on the Capitol and said, quote, if you think about what our Declaration of Independence says, it says to overthrow tyrants. Whereas on November 4th, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene went to visit those incarcerated related to the January 6th attack 
on the Capitol in which she referred to them as, quote, the Patriot Wing of the D.C. jail. Whereas on November 10th, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene referred to those who participate in the January 6th attack on the Capitol as, quote, political prisoners of war. Whereas on December 10th, 2021, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene said that if she had organized the January 6th attack on the Capitol, quote, we would have won, not to mention we would have been armed. Whereas on July 19th, 2023, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene displayed graphic pornographic images during an official committee hearing that she claimed de depicted a member of President Biden's family. Whereas on July 19th, 2023, Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene sent an official press release and posted to her official congressional website a public hearing commentary featuring graphic, pornographic images she claimed depicted a member of President Biden's family. Whereas members of Congress have promised to always have the back of Marjorie Taylor Greene, no matter the extent of her vile and hateful behavior, now therefore be it resolved that Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene be censured. Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene forthwith present herself in the well of the House of Representatives for the pronouncement of censure and Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene be censured with the public reading of this resolution by the Speaker. This is Democratic Representative Becca Ballant finally showing Democrats going on offense and bringing a censure resolution against Marjorie Taylor Greene to the House floor. The resolution calls out Greene's long and sordid history of racist, xenophobic, anti-Semitic, and anti-LGBT attacks, lies, manipulations, not to mention the outright assault against our own democracy. And look, this censure is a mixed bag because on one hand, if the censure resolution is adopted, which requires a majority of the House, it would be the ultimate shame to be formally disapproved of by her own colleagues. But on the flip side, Marjorie Taylor Greene is not capable of shame. And so even if you found a few Republicans who were willing to join with Democrats to pass this resolution, it would not embarrass someone who is not capable of embarrassment. And if you need proof of that, just look at Greene's own response to this resolution being offered. Quote, slow down and breathe a little, Becca. Geez, and they call me a conspiracy theorist. A 10 minute recitation of 25 lifetimes of embarrassments for Marjorie Taylor Greene, and her response is a corny joke on Twitter. Again, literally not capable of shame. And beyond that, let's be honest, you would be hard pressed to find a single Republican who would be willing to join Democrats in getting the censure to actually pass, given the extent to which these people give a free pass to any Republican, regardless of what they say or do. I mean, hell, look no further than Donald Trump himself, whom the Republicans support breathlessly and unanimously, despite the fact that his last act in office was to overturn a free and fair election and undermine our democratic process. You could not find a Republican more open openly opposed to every single one of the purported Republican principles and values than Donald Trump. From family values to states rights to fiscal responsibility to adherence to the Constitution. If you were to create a mortal enemy of GOP values in a lab, it would be Donald Trump himself and yet still they follow him off the cliff like lemmings. So no, there is nothing a single Republican could do that would warrant any abandonment or admonishment from the GOP. And Marjorie Taylor Greene is the beneficiary of that cowardice on a daily basis basis. Democratic leader Hakeem Jeffries was asked about the censure resolution and here's what he had to say. Sir, there's a push among some of your party to censure Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene, especially now that she's uh, moving to censure Congresswoman Tlaib. Do you support censuring Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene? There's a censure resolution uh, that has previously been introduced with respect to Marjorie Taylor Greene and I think that if the House decides that they want to go down this road in terms of censure, that that probably should be right at the top of the list. With that said, while balanced resolution against Green is a privilege resolution, meaning the House has two business days to consider it, according to The Hill, it's unlikely the House will vote on the resolution directly. It would likely instead vote on a procedural move to table it, essentially killing the resolution. 
So frankly, I'm less concerned about the passage of such a censure resolution and more concerned on the substance of it, which is why, by the way, I let the whole speech play out. I know it was long, but that's the point. Green's antics and lies and distractions are interminable and a constant source of embarrassment for this country. And at some point, perhaps Americans who support the GOP will recognize who they're actually empowering when they cast their ballots for Republicans. Because no, it is not the elusive moderates, it's people like Marjorie Taylor Greene who those moderates inevitably cave to. That's who is being emboldened when Republicans gain power. So if the GOP wants to embrace Green within the House Republican Conference, then the least we can do is make sure that every American knows it. Before you go, I need some help. Please subscribe to the channel and do your part to help grow the progressive media ecosystem. I don't do sponsorships or paid ads, I won't ask for money, but just subscribing to this channel goes a really long way and it helps get the message out to more people. The subscribe button is right here on the screen. You can also subscribe to my Spanish language channel, which I made to reach those crucial Spanish speaking voters. That link is on the screen too. And finally, if you want to listen to my audio podcast, you can follow that link as well. Thanks so much for watching.